Jesus was apparently kind of exhausted and tired from pre preaching and teaching and doing what he was doing, fulfilling his mission. And so he decided to go and visit some friends just to sit down and have some dinner with them and talk with them and relax. And so he goes to the home of Martha and Mary and their brother Lazarus. And it's such a familiar story. It's one that we all know and it's rather charming. It's very human in the gospel. Mary's just sitting at the feet of Jesus, listening to him to speak and talk. <clears throat> Martha's doing all the work and she complains, tell my sister to help me. I need help in the kitchen. And Jesus is not condemning Martha. He's not putting her down. Actually, she's doing a practical charity, hospitality. She's really doing what the Good Samaritan did in the gospel yesterday. She's taking care of Jesus, preparing a meal for him. But she's, Jesus has a lesson to teach in that there has to be balance. The, you have to spend time just talking with the Lord. And then you spend time doing charitable things. The two have to go hand in hand. And that's the lesson for us. You and I can get so busy with everything we do every day that we don't have very much time to pray. We don't have much time to talk to Jesus, just to stop everything and sit down and talk with him. That's what he wants us to do. And actually that's what energizes us. That's what gives us the ability to do the good things that we, that we, 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 that we want to do. St. Paul went out into the desert for 40 days after he was called to, to preach. Um, he needed to spend time in conversation with God. And our Lord himself did that. He often went off by himself or he went up on the mountain, he went somewhere to just talk with his heavenly father. And so the lesson is very practical for us today. Jesus loves both Martha and Mary and what both of them are doing is very good, but we cannot neglect one for the other. They must both go hand in hand, listening, listening and doing good. Let us stand and offer our prayers and petitions.